Mother Nature still not cooperating with crews on the Upper East Side. A day and a half later, Fifth Avenue is still shut down because of scaffolding that twisted and separated from a 12 story apartment building Monday morning as winds reached upwards of 60 miles per hour. And today, the winds continued whipping up. I've never seen things like that anywhere. You've never seen anything like that? No, 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 no. Crews have been working to secure the scaffolding, which hung dangerously off the side of the building for hours yesterday. The Department of Buildings tells PIX11 that it's overseeing work by a private contractor to remove the top portions of the scaffolding and bring them down to street level. More wind today seemed to have delayed the scaffolding removal, which was originally expected to happen last night. But if you want to see the glass half full on our windy weather, just talk to this guy who's visiting from Sedona, Arizona. We left after the biggest blizzard in uh, 20 years, so it's fine here. Surrounding streets will remain shut down until the scaffolding is removed and the area is deemed safe. The closures seem to be causing a particular headache for pedestrians. I need to get to an appointment on the west side. So usually I was going to cross over 79th Street, so I have to go back and cross up and go. I came across the park and thought I would exit at 72nd Street and saw the detour, so I'm just going around it. The company that owns the scaffolding, New Force Construction in Queens, does have previous violations involving the facade and scaffolding at this site. We called New Force, but an employee would not comment or let us speak with anyone in management. And the NYPD says that this scaffolding is still unstable, so emergency personnel will be on this scene and it will remain shut down until everything is cleared away. Reporting live on the Upper East Side, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.